It's time to fund community policing to protect and serve the community. U.S. President Joe Biden was in New York City Thursday, appearing with Mayor Eric Adams in an effort to confront gun violence, which has surged in U.S. cities since the start of the pandemic. Last month, two NYPD officers were fatally shot in the line of duty. Every day in this country, 316 people are shot, 106 are killed, 64 children injured by gun violence so far this year, 26 killed. It's enough. With more guns than people, the United States is by far the most heavily armed society in the world, and sales to first-time buyers skyrocketed in 2020. Biden reiterated his five-part plan unveiled in June that sought to stem the flow of firearms and invest in police resources. He also announced new efforts like targeting gun trafficking across state lines and getting repeat gun offenders off the streets. It's about doing background checks. This doesn't violate anybody's Second Amendment right. There's no violation of a Second Amendment right. We talk like there's no amendment that's absolute. When the amendment was passed, it didn't say anybody can own a gun and any kind of gun and any kind of weapon. You couldn't buy a cannon and when the, this, this uh, amendment was passed. And so no reason why you should be able to buy certain assault weapons. Biden and Attorney General Merrick Garland, who also made the trip to New York City, said they'll crack down on so-called ghost guns, unregistered and untraceable homemade weapons that can be made with a 3D printer. Adams, a former police officer, praised Biden's push toward justice, safety and prosperity. Far too long we called for backup and it was not here. It is time to have that backup. The visit comes as the White House and Democrats are pushing back on Republican accusations that the party is weak on crime before critical midterm elections in November.